the structure of a medieval manuscript. For more than a thousand years, all books were written and illustrated by hand. By the Middle Ages, books were being made by taking sheets of parchment, folding them in half, and arranging them into short stacks called gatherings. Gatherings were joined side by side, sewn at the book's spine, and attached to covers to protect the book's content. Looking at the spine of a book can reveal its structure. A gathering is typically made of several sheets of folded parchment. One sheet of folded parchment is called a bifolium. Half a bifolium is a folio. Each folio is assigned a unique number, which refers to its front and back, its recto and verso. When a book is assembled, its folios are in sequence. A good example of this can be seen by following a story illustrated in a single gathering. This story begins with St. Catherine, an early convert to Christianity. It continues with her ability to convert others, which angers the Roman emperor. Catherine is tortured, but survives. The story ends with St. Catherine's martyrdom and her body taken to Mount Sinai by angels. But if a book is not bound, its folios can seem out of order. Here you can see that the first and last illustrations were actually painted on the same piece of parchment. The structure of a book is a sophisticated feat of engineering that remains essentially the same today.